Well, I'm that N to the I to the N to the A Better known as B, 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 D A motivating, captivating personality With weight loss, hair care, yeah, you know with me Much more than a diva, hard hitter, never quitter And a winner, so you know that I will Seek to educate, regulate, never violate Never teach and hate, but I will Join me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter Find all my social media links below In the info section of this video Exciting anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not excited all the time. I'm not turning those all the time. In a world where black girls are judged by the quality of their weed instead of their character. <laughs> <laughs> ASO and NAACP will go deep into the heart of the black culture to answer questions like, is the end of the world? They're saying, being loved and being heard. They're saying, being heard. Is just changing, or is there something more to me? Why are Africans so angry? Why are they black? All these questions and more will be answered at 50 shows. Martin and Brother 13, the Twilight Walker, second year. The has more advantages in life, you know, as far as getting jobs and, you know, significant others and things of the sort. So we're going to keep this poll open for a little bit more and move on to the next question. Who is actually considered African American? Black people that were born here. That were born in America? Yeah, then would that be correct? Is it correct to you? I can't define someone else. Yeah, if you were born in America and you're black, you got some African in you and you're American. H-Town, stand up. <laughs> um, I think Africans can also be considered African American because they're born here. You're no longer considered just African. You also are considered African American. Like I was born in Africa, but I'm also African American as well because I became a citizen of America. So African American. I do agree with her. I believe that um, African Americans. I consider myself black um, because I don't really have any African culture in my family. All my family is black. Um, I consider African Americans to be those that have African cultures, whether they came from Africa and then um, their children were born in America, but I feel like there's a cultural difference. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 oh, you got something? Yeah, I mean, just the whole purpose of the term African American came from the divide, where people said, I'm just African, where the people said, I'm just American. So they say, you know what, let's bridge both gaps and move forward. So that's the reason for African Americans to really talk about people who are born in Africa and are citizens here, or people who are here and they're black or African American. So it's really created to bridge the gap between both groups. Your history. So if you knew, you would be part of it. And that's the same with Africans. Like Africans, we're so prideful that we don't know the American, African American history that's in America. So. We don't, you know, it's that division, so I said ignorance. Yes. <laughs>
All right, we have to take questions from one more panelist, then we're going to go into the, uh, the crowd right quick before we come back to the panel. Uh, I just want to comment on what she said. Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just saying that as far as the ignorance part about it, I think uh, America doesn't allow us to know the beautiful side of Africa. Like, it's houses over there that look like castles, and the fake stuff we got in the house was made over there, actually. So, I mean, the only side we see is feed the children and all that. So, we, we view Africa as AIDS. There has to be a desire to want to learn. A lot of us don't even want to learn. We don't even pick up books. We don't read anything outside of a magazine. We don't watch anything outside of BET or MTV. Okay? Snaps and wet. So a lot of a lot of times there's a lack of desire to learn, and I will leave it at that. Learn. Since I'm half African and I'm half American, uh, like with the African culture and stuff like that, like they don't believe in the boys. So it doesn't matter how young you get ready, or how, I mean married or whatever, so they don't believe in that. So if y'all together, y'all together to y'all dead. But you know, in, in America or in, with the black people or whatever, they feel like people, Get second chances. You might, if you fall in love with that person, you might fall out of love, whatever that means. But I feel like that's that's the reason why it's more in the uh, black family and why it's less in the African family. I was gonna say I feel like there's more broken homes in Af uh, African American homes than there is in the African homes because African it's more of like a stability thing. Like you you're so used to it, so why go try to you know break something that's already like you know try to break up a home that's already together like my parents have been married for 25 years and i'm sure like they've had issues too like everything that's happened in a, a family that was divorced happened in their marriage too but that doesn't mean oh okay we're gonna get divorced if you do that where you go you go back to your village and you look like a disappointment so it's kind of like you don't want to disappoint your parents or your your tribe or whatever the name of your family it's not really about you and your marriage it's about the, the name that you're carrying. So if you get a divorce, you're basically lock, ruining your whole line is basically. It's kind of like so and so's daughter that was married to this man. You know, it's like it's not it's not about you. It's a bigger picture basically. Uh I was thinking like Kadu said it all when it came to Africans like they believe in staying together. But I think a, a real reason behind it is African women are well aware of their role in the relationship. No offense to any women in here. Any women make a real proper deal to you. I mean, uh, nah, but on the serious note, like, if you if you talk to African men, they'll say they'll never date an American black woman because they don't know their role. Like, y'all expect, no, shit, Shiri's not dead, I'll say that. No, like, it's yeah, not. We show it's not for dead. Y'all too, but we ain't the only ones supposed to be working. Y'all really the ones that's supposed to be cooking. Clean. That's just how it goes. I mean, this world, this world. Yeah, we whether y'all like it or not, this world is built on stereotypes. Y'all want us to act like men, y'all don't want us to act like y'all, do we? So we want y'all to act like y'all, not act like us. Don't try to run the relationship with men. Y'all was based off experience growing up in a broken home, I feel that it's a, a social stigma in America already that we find it acceptable for, um, I wanna say like my mom or black women in general find it acceptable to raise, um, raise a child, thank you, raise a child by themselves because of the past, because it's been happening so long. Whereas Africans, they find it acceptable where they have to be in a relationship now, to respond to what he just said, I don't feel that um, a woman don't know her role because my mother, a lot of times, she helped support men who wasn't our fathers to help them become a better person. Mm -hmm. So I feel that women that don't know I feel like you have to find the right one to help you out. Do you guys prefer a 
light skin or dark skin? I mean, I like yellow bones. Is she brown? I like brown too. Yellow bones, though. I think they're going to be cheap. That's what they say. But brown skin, I miss with them too. Well, I'm dark skin, but now it's like my my uh my choices have gotten broader, so it's like light skin and dark, so it doesn't really matter. With that question, firstly, since I'm multiracial, as long as she's speaking and she has a good conversation, we're good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really do think that there is kind of a, a conflict sometimes because uh, first off, light skins, we do have good hair. <laughs> also at the same time, you know, we got some cute babies. Out there too. But I really do think that there is, to be told, a, a conflict sometimes within our own culture. And you know, light skins, we're seen as being the sweet kind and the weak kind or whatever like that. And the dark skins always seem to be like perceived as the ratchet or the hard ones and stuff. So there's really like stereotypes and conflicts within it. But at the same time, I mean, I'm light skinned and I'm real, so what it is. <laughs> okay, um, light skin, dark skin. I grew up in a predominantly white area and I was still treated just as dark as the next person. First off, um, but to like black people or the darker skin or the ones that didn't look mixed that was in our community, they treated us, the lighter skin or the mixed kids, as if we weren't a part of the culture and kind of like we were just floating in space and we kind of just didn't have a, you know, identifier. We wouldn't identify. We kind of just was with each other. So as far as I know, growing up, I mean, I hear the whole thing about light skinned girls getting the better treatment, or we get special treatment, or we get passes for whatever, or we just, you know, have that good look, I don't know. Um, I don't think that's true. I just think it's the way you carry yourself and how beautiful you are. I think it's looks, I don't think it's the skin color. Everybody is just the same, like, our people looking in on us, like we're all black, so I kind of feel like, us as a race, sometimes it can be boosted a little bit. Like, you know, everybody knows that on Instagram, people be like, light skin be like, or dark skins be like. But at the same time, like, it's like we're laughing at each other. But outside looking in, like, we're all black, so. Like, he's a right? 
<laughs> but okay, for me, there is a conflict, but I think that conflict has to do a lot with the media. A lot of these companies, a lot of these big films are owned by predominantly white, rich, educated males, so they like to maintain the status quo. So if you see a lot of movies that are depicted like Boys in the Hood and stuff like that, there's black men out there actually doing positive things. But therefore, they depict the lighter skin to be better because that's how it's supposed to be, that's how it's always been. Just like you had the house nigga and the nigga outside picking the cotton. So therefore, it's all about the media and how they reiterate everything. So. Um, I would just have to say that I think the whole issue is between us as people because at the end of the day, when you go in and you apply for a job and they ask you what race are you, you have to check one of them boxes. The skin tone not really don't matter. So whether you like skin, that's good or not, you still gonna have to check black or African Americans. <laughs> um, personally, I think robbery is, but I don't think it's no hate, light skin, dark skin, I don't think it's no beef. I think it's like a robbery, you know, like teams play against each other. There's all love at the end of the day. And basically, I blame Drake. <laughs> When you really start calling light like, skinned people weak to drug star tricky strippers, that's to be honest. Thank you guys are Think about the things that matter. First of all, I'm adopted. And in my family, most of the women and men are light skinned. I was the brown skinned child, and I was fine with that. Uh, my mother taught me that that didn't matter. They wouldn't buy your ticket. It didn't give me none of my three degrees. Nobody asked me, are you light skinned? None of them. It didn't buy me my home. Didn't give me that either. My credit did. Um, it, also, it also didn't give me any of the things that I have today that have made me successful. My mother taught me that you wrote your own ticket, whether you was purple as the ground. It didn't matter what color you were. And so I treated all my friends the same. I, I look at my friends and most of my friends are lighter skinned women and lighter skinned men. My family is lighter skinned and I was never treated different. You know why? Because it was the inner person that mattered. And people treat you like what you put out. If you run around here, if you run around here acting sad and dark skinned, you're gonna be treated like sad and dark skinned. If, if you run around acting Hasidity and light skinned, people are gonna say, oh, you stuck up. People only assume what you put out. And yeah, they might assume things because of their previous experiences, but it's your job to be who you are whenever you are and not worry about the little stuff. Like skin color. struggles. I mean, they know, and it's, it's no, there's no other way to put it. 
All right, so is the N word really okay? Um, personally, I feel that the N word is not okay. You know, it's all around me, and um, in my family, if you say the N word around my grandfather, it's just like cussing. So, like, it's not okay. I feel like it is an insult to the people who died for us, who who um, basically got their lives taken from them because of the N word, and we're sitting here using it loosely. I feel like it's a lack of appreciation of our culture. I feel like it's basically just ignorant. And that's actually how I feel about the anyway. I feel like it should be used. And it's not everybody's fault, because like I said, it's thrown around. So it's like, if we feel like it's OK, then then again, you have to think about it. Why can't other races say it? But it's OK for us to say it, but they can't say it. Because when they say it, then it's hurtful. But then think about it. You're saying it to the next person. It's like calling. It's like me calling Kiera, oh, you in, meaning you have chains around your neck, which is really what that word was standing for. Oh, but it's OK to say it. Your turn. I feel like at this point, it's used, it's, it's like, it's not that serious, or it's serious, but in some ways, it's not that serious, and I feel like it's, it's more of how you use it, so that's why people get mad when another, like, somebody, like a Mexican, I know Mexicans who say the N-word, like, they can say it because they mean, you know, like, what's up, but if you use it, in an offensive way, it's different from just saying it like the song, you know, like you my friend or whatever. But I feel like it's all about context at this point because really it's no way of just stopping stopping it like back in the day. So at this point, it's just about context. I definitely uh, believe that the word is definitely not okay. Um, I'm tired of like our generation, everybody is trying to intellectualize the word, trying to change the meaning of it, and oh, it means something else. Or trying to say, oh, well, it's, say with an A and not an ER is totally different. But um, we talk about this in our meetings. That um, I mean, it's just how we talk. Like there's certain words, like we just change it up. Like gangster, we don't say gangster, we say gangsta and stuff like that. But we like, oh, well, the er is different from the uh. Like I just feel like that's just dumb. Was trying to make a totally different meaning of the word when we all know what it means and the things like we're trying to um, change the meaning, trying to make it something positive, that's definitely, I don't think that's smart at all. And then you're kind of erasing the history because your kids, when they grow up, like what are you going to tell them? Like really, you're going to say that's okay with them to use, they're going to walk around the house and use that word if it's not a curse word or it's not a bad word. So that's how I feel. Yeah. 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 Y